God damn it, it's a good Pokemon idea. <laughs> this is gonna get beat up by the chicken this time. I have been fingering Sayori's asshole the whole time I've been talking to her. Woman one throw away poo poo. Later, nerd. <laughs> yeah. This is why you're terrible, you know? Can't what give me a terrible ranking if I never get sh if I never get caught. <laughs> just imagine you're a guard. You have one job: stop intruders. And the guy literally just a guy with like a with like a big headband. <laughs> yeah, 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 you can't catch runs, me. I'm a gingerbread man. Just runs by. You. Just does like a Naruto run right by. You. <laughs> just like oh my oh oh, oh man. The, the, what's a villain faction in this game called again? Uh, uh shit. Right. Yeah, because like there's like this oh, terrorist man. group. What were they called? Oh god, it was something like really edgy but cool. Like not Dead Cells. That's um that's Metal Gear Solid 2. Oh god, something. Terror Bites! Oh god, this is gonna bug me. It wasn't that. Is no, this Terror Bites reboot? This fucking reboot. Colonel Campbell, tell us what the terrorist organization's called. Yeah, because there, there was like the the uh there's like the terrorist group. Was it one of the like like a? I think it was McBride was like the CIA guy. We had. Because there was. There I was remember, a terrorist I don't group, remember. And there's like the mercenary group that they hired. I'm not gonna lie. The only people's names in this game I remember are Chris, Mei Ling, Snake, think, and Campbell. I think McBride is the like intelligence guy. Let's save the game. Yeah. Like the, bandana, the whoa, 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 whoa. like the banda and I'm... what? <laughs> huh? The bandana underwear and wow. The last thing I'm gonna do in my future, man. I'm just trying to finish college. Yeah, I got it. Okay, let's put the box back on. Okay. I forgot I had the thermal goggles where I'm supposed to be going. Alright. Anyway, so PlayStation All-Stars had a very slow budget. Um, and that's kind of why a lot of- the game actually felt more like an advertisement because a lot of the- Like, they had Dante from the DMC- the, the reboot series. Uh -huh. Or as I like to call him, Dante. And the thing is, like, well, why did you get- why did you get the less popular version? Of Dante, and it's like, oh, because what game, whose game is about to come out? We're advertising. We're not. The game is basically a giant advertisement. They're not. They didn't have the money to get like the really big characters. That's why Crash. Like Bandicoot, the iconic. Yeah, like Crash Bandicoot's not in the game. Really? Rapper the rapper got in though. That was that was at least something. You know, the, you know the guy who voiced Rapper the rapper tried to like scum out some college kids all of their money. What? Like they were making a fan site, a fan site. Remember, like yeah. not like a not like a game, a fan site. Right. And they asked him, "Hey, could you do some voice work?" And he was like, "Yeah, sure." And like he um. And like he basically tried. Like it was like some rule. It was like some really kind of convoluted. Where basically the guy's like, "Oh man, like, yeah, that was a hurt. Yeah, hey, we sent you some money to like to do the recording." He's like, "Thanks, got me a bought a new laptop." Oh no, there's, oh no, there's a, um, it's like, oh no, there was a storm, which actually did happen. It's like, okay, sorry, there was a storm. But yeah, we heard there was a big storm, but like, hey, I, I don't understand. <laughs> it's like, hey, sorry, there was a storm, but you're right, it's like, yeah, it made, me, it made me lose the recording files, but don't worry, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna get the footage there, and it's like, all right, hey, it's been like, it's been like two months, it's like, hey, yeah, don't worry, my lawyers are gonna work it out with you all, and it's like, uh, lawyers for what? It's a fan project, yeah, don't worry about it, don't worry about sure, it. Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll fun, I'll do some voice work for you. Uh, can we also call this project Mighty Number no. Nine? <laughs> oh man, that game. I haven't even played it. The game came out on free for free on PSN Plus. I still haven't played it. And I hear it still hasn't come out 
on the 3DS and the Vita like they promised. Oh, I forgot they were making. I mean, that was going. I mean, I forgot they were even making out of that. Who knows if they're still making? I care more about. Oh, God, no! I didn't mean, I was trying to stop running. I was trying. I wanted to. Um, only only uh, I'm looking forward to is Bloodstain. Like that game looks. Yeah, that one. That one was cool. Considerably I, less scummy. Yeah. Especially because there's actually playable version. There's playable demos of that game. Yeah. Like for backers, and that game looks. Oh, cutscene. Question mark. Hey! Oh god, random is here. You don't look like one of those goons. Get me out of here? Or do you want me to yell for the- I could shoot you. <laughs> I have my gun is right- I have my gun right here. I could just shoot you. You hostage? Yeah, they're like complete losers. A at first, I got to do- whatever I wanted, but then, once Metal Gear near completion, I got thrown into this dump. You're James Harks. You can call me Jim. Oh yeah, this must be the guy, he's like the main designer of the Metal Gear. Oh, this is like the main researcher, main scientist. Did beat the Metal Gear? The development? Yeah. Oh yeah, I may be half your old. Oh man, I'm twice as smart as you, but if you're so smart, how come you got caught? <laughs> you could be sound like an idiot. <laughs> I'm not snakes. Is this that fucking goofy on snakes the other like side? Snakes like 27, I think. In this, no, he's like 27, pushing 30. He's like pushing 30 or something. And this is, and this is supposed to be like MGS one. They locked Goofy up for tax evasion, <laughs> tax fraud. Yeah, I guess. Who are you anyway? Does it matter? I'm the guy sent to get you and destroy metal. Who's gonna destroy get. metal? That's all you need to know. You can't kill the metal. Whatever, Lone Ranger. You with the U.S. military? I'm not with any military, boy. I say, I say, I like what, how, boy, I like these voices I'm, are just cha I'm just changing every voice. We go from, um, I forgot the actor's name, I was impersonate. Who's the guy who, no, not Yag, not Yago, um, God, what's his name? He was in Steve Buscemi. No, not Steve Buscemi, no, not Buscemi, um, God, what's his name? <laughs> from what? I'm, I'm trying to remember, his, I'm trying to remember what he was in, like, God, it's at the tip of my tongue. I can't remember his name, but he's a really well known. When you were talking like this? God. Corey voice? Feldman? Corey Feldman? I don't know. Was that him? Oh, God. This is bugging me. Were you talking... When you were doing that voice? Like, yeah. That's what he did. That's where I was saying the Goofy stuff. I mean, it wasn't thinking... Goofy. It wasn't Goofy. It was someone... It was some actor. I forgot his name. I almost said Steve. It was not Steve Buscemi. Corey Feldman? I don't know. Oh, uh, it's whatever. It'll come to me in like a year or so. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to what he was saying because I was thinking about that. I hope you were... Well, okay, it's okay. We'll probably get were... lost forever on next level. Oh, oh, God. This keeps happening. <laughs> I was trying to pay attention to this one, too. Okay, I got to find a wall and blow explosive through it. Oh, okay. It'll be thinner. Okay. I mean, I think even then, if we if we forget, we can talk to Colonel or whatever. Yeah, let's try that now. Oh no! Oh no, not you, Mei Ling! Hide my leg. No. Hang in there. No! <laughs> I miss you! Okay, the east wall of his cell seems to be thinner. Okay, I have to get to C4. Then. C4, okay. Oh, yeah. And there we go. Mm. So I had to get to the east wing or whatever. Let's see, I think... 
Going back to Smash. Uh, oh, here's C4. Measure sure pouches are already. Because I got it, because I filled it up already. Um... Okay. Uh, yeah, I think with Smash. I mean, I, I told you this before, but uh, I think it'd be really cool if there was a Resident Evil. I'm just not getting this text you sent me. Oh, yeah. The I said sure of the traffic. Yeah, because I, I was uh, late getting over here, and there was a lot of traffic on the way over, so I took a picture and sent it to you. Like, I was looking at it because... Don't, like, don't use your phone and drive, kids. How do I blow this up? <laughs> Probably not like that. Well, I can't climb under this. Well, I guess someone's coming. That's good. But yeah, I love to see a Resident Evil character in Smash. I don't care if it's uh, if it's Chris or it's Jill or Leon, Claire. But and I'm not even sure exactly how it how it would work. But I think that would be really cool to see. Because look, Capcom they already have Mega Man. They already have Ryu from Street Fighter. I think if they had, if they ever do a third, I think a Resident Evil character would be really cool. Oh, you know what? Actually, you know what? I want Wonder Red in from Wonderful 101. Hmm. Because that character is amazing. Like, that whole game is great. Yeah, I mean, and, and there's rumor at least that they're bringing it to Switch. I really, I, that is literally the last game on the Wii U that's keeping me holding on to my Wii U. Like, as soon as that game comes out on Switch, I'm like, oh. As soon as that game comes out, I'm like, oh god, let me just run. <laughs> Instead of doing what I'm doing. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Never god. eat sour. Never eat sour watermelons. I just went upstairs. Damn, go through the. Damn it. As soon, as soon I've been as... this way, haven't I? I've been this way, haven't I? I just won the circle. Okay. As soon as Run of the comes out on Switch. Oh, this is how I... Hmm. I cannot put the C4 on my wall right there. Okay, I'm just going to do this one. Um, yeah, it's Wonderful 101. That game is great. Hope it comes to Switch soon, because that game... Okay, that game... Whatever your favorite ending is to something, Wonderful 101 is better. Hmm. Wonderful 101 has such an epic ending, it is crazy. Nice. And it's just like that game, like it's so like it's actually surprising got a really good story. And like it's, especially since the game is since the game is just good guys doing good things. Okay, he said the east, right? So yeah, it's not this way, but how do I get <laughs> Is that the fucking red M and M wandering around in there? I was thinking um I was thinking of um you, you probably wouldn't you probably wouldn't get it, but like one of the stages in Street Fighter Four there's like it's this underpass stage where, like, there's just a group of kids just cheering you on, watching the fight. Yeah. And, like, there's this one fat kid who's just, and, like, that kid just, he's just so good and he just gets into it. Like, he's just always with his guy's that hands up. That kid needs to be in, in and Smash. I love, I love that. I love that kid. Like, that's my, that's. He needs to be in Smash. That is a no-name NPC character. Fuck Resident Evil. I love Evil. that kid. Fuck Resident Evil. We need to have that kid as an next Capcom character in Smash. To take back everything I said. Man, where am I? Oh my god, oh, damn it. Okay, but I, I think, know there's a... But yeah, if, if they had... What are you guys saying? I was trying to figure out like how to get back to this wall over here, because I know he said like... The yeah, east, the east wall. But like... I have to get on that side, but I don't know what I have to do to get there. Or that I kind of know, but like I'm not sure like what I have. Yeah, I'm not, I, I kind of know the direction, but I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get back to where I would be. Okay. 
and you're gonna go like kind of go north, like from where you are. Oh damn it! <laughs> I've been north. Um, I, I think at least in the other shack. Because that because north from there would be the east to the east of his cell, right? Yeah, but when I went there, I went back up the stairs, and I was trying to avoid the stairs. No. Yeah. Oh, action. Oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, it would be cool if they had a Resident Evil character. I mean, they have... They can still make it kind of unique. Like, they have, obviously, projectile users in Smash already, but... You can have... Because they have different kinds of guns and stuff, you know, the, the handguns... Shotguns, machine guns, a gun gun, gun guns, magnum guns, fucking rocket launcher, that could be a final smash. Or or something crazier, you know, with like a T virus or some shit. Uh but they could still have uh because they could have a system where like maybe you switch between say, like, three different weapons. They, they, obviously, it would, it would have to be simplified from the weapon system in regular Resident Evil. But say you have, like, three different weapons, like your your handgun, and your, uh, your handgun, your shotgun, and then, like, maybe a rifle or something. And, uh, there's, like, ammunition. So, like, not, not, you don't collect it, but you still have to, like, uh, you still have to reload. Because that's a, that's a part of Resident Evil. Uh, and then it, like, if you, uh, if you are, if you haven't reloaded, if you're out of ammo, you have to, you're stuck with your knife. And then you can also have, like, the physical attacks and stuff on there. As they have. But I think they could probably do that. They could probably make that work. It'd be really cool. <laughs>